the Embargo Act of 1807. Thomas Jefferson is elected president in 1800 in a very close election to Aaron Burr. He had a very successful first term which lasted from 1801 to 1805. During this, he secured the Louisiana Territory from Napoleon Bonaparte for $15 million in 1803. Napoleon Bonaparte seized political power in France in 1799 and crowned himself emperor in 1804. He had created the Continental System in 1806, which was a blockade designed to paralyze Great Britain through the destruction of their commerce. In response to the Continental System, Great Britain set up a naval blockade of their own. And because of this naval blockade, Europe was closed off to all trade. These events relate to the United States as America's economy was largely based on agriculture and the exportation of raw material, which would be cotton in the south and beaver trade in the northeast, for example. And in return for these, America would buy finished goods from Europe. But because Europe was closed to trade, America's economy would suffer. The British started something which would come to be known as impressment which was the forcing of American sailors into the British Navy. This violated America's neutrality on the open seas completely. In an attempt to remain peaceful with Great Britain and France, the Embargo Act of 1807 was passed. With the Embargo Act in effect, America can no longer trade with any nation around the world. This caused America's economy to suffer even more than it already had been. It also brought a negative view on Thomas Jefferson's second term, and it also led to merchants smuggling in goods through Canada. The Embargo Act of 1807 was important for the development of U.S. democracy as it was one of the early major acts passed by the federal government that had effect on the entire nation. It can be seen as a test of the federal government's power at the time, and also if the Embargo Act of 1807 had never happened, it's possible that the economy would have had a different trajectory. And on top of this, the federal government could have been viewed as being limited on its ability to regulate commerce and deal with foreign relations.